camera, well, right? Do we all, morph into so each other? Or? <laughs> you now can do this with software, you know. Well, I loved Better Angels of Our Nature. I'm even more thrilled about your next book, Enlightenment Now. I, I was inspired to write it after I finished uh, Better Angels of Our Nature, which had all of these graphs showing measures of violence and decline. And people started to write to me from disciplines that I was only dimly aware of, saying it's actually much better than you even <laughs> mentioned. Hunger is declining and infant mortality and maternal mortality. And even it came across Odd things like that the rate of uh, death in traffic accidents has plummeted like a hundredfold in the last 50 years. Your likelihood of getting mowed down on the sidewalk if you're a pedestrian, uh, air traffic safety, even my, my, perhaps my favorite graph in the whole book, your chance of being killed by a bolt of lightning <laughs> have declined by more than 95%. Now, of course, it isn't that God stopped throwing thunderbolts. But uh, we have you know, better houses, better cars and tractors. Humanity really does seem to be improving in one area after another. It almost makes you believe in this old-fashioned thing called progress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'd say the most stunning thing to me ever is this disconnect between the actual improvement and people's mental view that maybe the past was better, maybe the future's going to be worse. As a psychologist, I'm curious as to where this disconnect comes from. I think part of it comes from a funny chemistry between, on the one hand, the nature of news and the nature of cognition. Namely, news is about stuff that happens, not about stuff that doesn't happen. So there's never a Thursday in March in which you say a hunger has plummeted or diseases have been decimated. Whereas things that go wrong, go wrong all at once. You know, I'd love to have people uh have this, this positive message and, and see where it really does hint at how we can do even better going forward. I, I couldn't agree more. Ideas matter. The universe is kind of doesn't care about us. We've got you know, <laughs> law of entropy, things fall apart. We've got evolution, we've got bugs who are constantly trying to kill us. So the odds are really stacked against us. But if we try to understand how the world works and make people better off, bit by bit we can succeed. I and mean, that's a different view of progress. It tends not to be popular among 21st century intellectuals. But I, I think that the facts show that it, it works, not all at once, but bit by bit.